My name is Charlene Wagner. My husband is Alan Wagner. Hey, Alan. Hey. How are you feeling today? Fair? He's been diagnosed with Lewy body dementia. And before that, used to be very happy, jokester, kind of loving, caring man. Why are you so sleepy today? Hey, would you give me a kiss? See, Alan's been taking antipsychotic drugs since 2009. In one nursing home, he was totally drugged till you couldn't even talk to him. Yeah, I can tell you're tired. In an average week in nursing homes across the United States, over 179,000 older people, most with dementia, are given antipsychotic drugs, often inappropriately and without their informed consent. Antipsychotic drugs are FDA approved for the treatment of psychosis. And they're used in nursing homes not to treat psychosis, but to keep people with dementia quiet and manageable. And Human Rights Watch's research, we focused on facilities that had at least 20% of their residents, as high as 80% of their residents, taking these drugs inappropriately. Until the 1990s, it was very common for nursing homes to use physical restraints, to tie somebody to a chair or bed with straps. Physical restraints are banned, but now many nursing facilities are using chemical restraints instead. I would talk to the doctor, but the doctor had told me that even though I said I read about the state of Kansas not wanting them on so many psych meds, she said this is what they do at this nursing home. Antipsychotics have an FDA black box warning label that says if you're elderly with dementia and you take this drug, you have almost double the risk of death. So not only do they not do what we want them to do, but they cause harm which is really antithetical to everything that we should all be about in healthcare. He's at the point now, he sits in a chair all day long from the time they have breakfast till they get him ready for bed. It's actually been holy hell the last few years, living apart and not having him be the man he used to be. Yes. Antipsychotic drugs are often given in nursing homes to people who have not given informed consent. And in some cases, the family members of those nursing home residents have no knowledge either. If a family brings up the issue of not using antipsychotic drugs, usually what we hear is that the facility says to them, well, it's either the antipsychotic drugs or you're going to have to find someplace else for this person to be because we can't provide the care they need without the drugs. If it, he was taken completely off of it, I'd be afraid that they would kick him out of the nursing home and there's no place to go but home. And I, I need 24-hour care at home and can't afford it. Nursing home staff use these drugs to make their lives easier. It is a convenience thing because at the root of the problem is the resident's expression of unmet need or distress or discomfort. And a professional caregiver's duty is to identify the source of that problem and address it. One of the few things that a person has left when they're in a nursing home is the ability to relate to people and communicate and interact with their family and other people living there and staff. And that is what these drugs, for no good reason, deprive people of. How are you doing? I'm doing fine. Oh, yeah? Mm -hmm. Chair looks pretty. Thank you. My mother's name is Lois Bencula. She's 75 years old. And when she was younger, she was just a free spirit. She was the life of the party. She went into a nursing home when she was 72 and she had dementia. At the first place, instead of hiring staff, they just put them on medication to control them. When we went to see her, she wouldn't talk, she wouldn't laugh, she wouldn't cry, she wouldn't do anything, she would just sit and stare like she wasn't even there. We have good federal regulations, and a lot of states have good state laws preventing 
bad usage of psychotropic drugs in nursing homes, what we need is enforcement. We need for those laws and regulations to mean something, and right now they mean very little. The drugs should never be used inappropriately, and in every case that they are, there should be accountability. Lois was able to stop taking antipsychotic drugs because she'd moved facilities. She's back. She's healthy. Yeah, I used to go. stand on your feet when we were when I was real little, yeah. remember? Yeah. All over the kitchen. <laughs> she laughs, she smiles. <laughs> boy, boy, I get all those things going on. <laughs> <laughs> she talks to me, she remembers things. All over the kitchen. Yeah. I got my mom back as much as I can have her back. I'll see you later. Stupid. No, you're not stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Silly. <laughs> silly? Yeah, silly. <laughs> Wouldn't have you any other way. No. No? No. It's okay. We still got time to live. Of course. Yes, you do. <laughs> Nobody who has dementia in a nursing home is safe from the inappropriate use of antipsychotic drugs. If you have dementia and somebody in a nursing facility doesn't understand what your needs are, you could be given an antipsychotic drug and you will end your life not being yourself, not being understood, and there's no reason that this should happen.